So, today we're gonna explain how to remove a strip bolt. I know some of you guys come in here and you guys will go, hey, you know what, Foo? How can I get the strip bolt out? First of all, let me start from the very beginning of how you can strip it. One of the things is that these are all six millimeter Allen bolts. This is a six millimeter Allen key. Look at this head, all out of shape, out of blong. This is no longer six mil. So you're right, you did use a six, but that six is gonna strip this thing out because look how loose it is. So, somebody stole my six mil socket. Where the f is my six mil socket? Here it is. This is my six mil socket. Look how healthy that is. When you put it in, Look at that, look, look, it barely wiggles. Look, this thing doesn't wiggle at all. That's a healthy one, so it doesn't strip. So, you know, you're out there, and you're like, yeah, you know, I got all this out, I got all this out, you know. Everything's loose, everything's loose, everything's coming good. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look how strong that is. Look, everything's, and all of a sudden, you go and you grab your number six that's all rounded out, and you're like, oh, dude, what the, like, Thing. Now look at it. It's all stripped. It's always the last one. Am I right, guys? Am I right? It's always the last one. Everything always comes out. You're like, yes. Yeah, and uh, finally, the last one. It's always the last one. It's stripped. So how do I get that out? So we have this guy. If you look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh, hey, Dak. <laughs> so, this is what they call an easy out. So, usually bolts righty tighty, left, and it goes open, right? It tights. But we want to remove this, but it's stripped. So, how do we do it? This little doodad right here is reverse thread. So you put it inside, you turn it reverse way, it come out. You know this, this one does not fit. So we're gonna go to the next one. This one right here, watch. As soon as you screw it in, it'll catch. And then it will, again, where is my tools? What did you do with tools? You know, they're everywhere, look at this place. <laughs> It's not my tools, man! Who's taking, who's taking my tools? The dumpster is not full. I'm gonna climb in that thing right now. Great. Al, I know you did something, dude. You hit all my shit to make me look stupid, don't you? Nope. Yeah, you did. Can't blame it on me. Yeah, you're, you're, you're always playing jokes. You're all, oh, you're not playing jokes. Who did this? Who did what? Who did this? Who did this? Is that a hole in your can? Yeah, yeah. you know what? Some oh, did this and when I drink it, spill. Who did that? <laughs> okay, so you probably hit the tools. No, no, I didn't touch the tools. Found the hooker. She was sleeping. On her back? So lazy. So, back to business. I'm gonna just use this. This is not the proper thing to use. You use a socket, but I can't find it. But notice how when I put it in, now watch. When I tightened it, it's going to go deeper and it's going to bite it and it's going to unscrew. See that? It unscrews. Because it's actually biting into it. So look at that. Look at that head. Look how screw up that head is. There's no way this Allen key is going to bite into it. Look at this. Wiggle is not good. No, because, because this thing, right when you turn it, it's going to, it's going to roll Skip. out. I put this in. Force it in. Use the not right tool and press it down and turn it. Look, see it bites into it. Look at that. There you go. Is it easy out? Is it easy out? So the reason why up here there's a little drill bit is because sometimes you have to use that to kind of like open it up, board up, so it would mat it would be big enough for this. We were lucky enough where the opening of that just happens to be perfect for this size. If it wasn't, then we would just put in a power drill, 
drill it out, open it up, and use the easy out. Okay, question. If this bolt was in the back, would you do that or would you just cut it? Uh, you don't have these tools at home. If it was in the back and you did not have that, yeah, you would cut it. You would actually put a grinder right here and cut it, but that would leave the other, the body of the, the bolt inside. How do you get that out? And so if that's the case, then you gotta drill, drill into it. Use the smaller one, put that in, drill, a little pilot hole. Drill a little pilot hole right there and put this thing in and bite it. Let me see, let me see if we could do that. Hard steel. That's a good bolt. And drill this hole. Meanwhile, Ethan's about to build another bike over here. Yeah. New bike? I'm trying to work on my own bike for once. Is this, you're gonna build a new frame already? I got a new frame because uh, I messed mine up and I'm just gonna secretly build this one up and not tell anyone. So you're gonna have a separate sleeper? Unless you watch this video. No, it's like mine just messed up and I wanted a new one. Got it. That's all you need to know. What'd you do to it? Teenager's face. It's like a secret. It's how bad it is. So let's see if this is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look at that. This mother works. Oh, God. All right. Now that I got all the damn tools laying all the place, Check this out, see that little hole? This thing is gonna go in, and look, oh my God. Look at that, that works. So, let me unscrew this. So, so imagine if we went in, and we cut this. Cut that, and then that body's there. So, Take this with the improper tool. But you won't be able to prove this because you won't be able to pull it out. I know, but I want to show them that, how uh, it, 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 it bites in. This head would turn, right? Yep. See, look. See? And it unscrews the body out. Obviously the head is still there, so it yeah. won't come out. So for now. Uh, we're we're simulating that this thing's been cut. You know? So let's see, that's how you do it. So that's how to remove an the easy, stem bolt. An easy out. An easy out. I wish they make this for like, you know, ex ex-girlfriend or crazy girlfriend is an easy out. You know? Well, I think that was my easy out. I'm gonna leave these two mad scientists to their own inner workings out here at Epic BMX. So make sure you follow Ethan. For the hey, sake of following Ethan. Hey, you know what? You owe me a, you owe me a goddamn soda. I owe him a soda because I did puncture his Pepsi. So I'm gonna go get him Your that from the liquor store. Not work. It would have worked if you didn't have such an astute eye. No, like, no, share, no, comment, no. subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>